Hey everybody, it's Angela from Ring Angel, and I'm here to show you my May to be ready pile. I can't believe it's May already. We're almost halfway, it's the halfway point of the year. Blows my mind. Um, so this month I have a ginormous to be ready pile. We're doing the May page count contest on my blog this month again. And last month I managed to read 19 books, which was phenomenal for me. I've been doing like 6 or 7. So the contest really helped motivate me. I only managed to get, I didn't get top 20 for the month. I only managed to hit number 22. So I'm hoping this month to really kick it in and read a few more and make top 20. So this is what I've got on my pile. I'm currently reading City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. Um, I'm about halfway through. I don't know why I don't love this book. I didn't really love, love the first one. I just liked it and I feel the same way with this one. And... I don't keep like grabbing it and getting into it so I just read a few pages here or there and then just get distracted doing other things on the computer or around the house. So that's probably why I haven't read as much in the last couple weeks because I've been reading this one for over a week now. So I really just need to make myself sit down and finish it which I think I'm going to do this evening. Um, so I don't know, I mean I still like it, I just I'm not in love with it for whatever reason. Then, probably next up on my pile, it just arrived on my doorstep literally probably 30 minutes ago, was this package that included Insurgent. I guarantee this will be next for me. Oh, finally, finally released today, and which I'll probably not post this till tomorrow, so yesterday for y'all who are seeing this now, but Insurgent. Yes, it's beautiful. I can't wait to read it. No explanation needed. And this was in the package as well, Deadlocked by Charlene Harris. And this is the latest Suki Stackhouse novel. And I just found out that she's going to be at my state's book festival this year. How cool is that? My little rinky dink state is getting Charlene Harris. How cool. I'm excited. I have some ebooks this month. I normally don't do a lot of review ebooks, but I have a couple. So I just print off papers to show you the picture instead of trying to find them on my Kindle because that'll take forever. Um, Never Enough by Denise Jaden. I adore her. So I'm ex so excited for this book. Also have Unspoken by Sarah Reese Brennan. I'm really excited for this one. Those are the two review ebooks I have. And then I have two ebooks that are bought that I've been wanting to get to. Reason and Breathe by Rebecca Donovan. The second book in the series just came out and two of my Facebook friends have been highly, highly recommending this book to me. So I'm going to try to squeeze that one in. And also Exiled by M.R. Merrick. Loretta has been screaming at me to read this book forever. And she bought it for me several months ago. Um, as a random act of kindness. And so I'm going to try my best to read this this month. Finally Loretta. Then I have on my pile. I Need So Beautiful by Suzanne Young. Which Loretta has also been screaming at me to read. Um, this is also I think one of Candace's. Um, from Candace's book blog's favorite books, so I'm really excited to finally get to this one. Eve by Anna Carey. I've had this one on my shelf since it released as well, so I'm excited to finally read that one. I have 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Everybody says this is probably one of their absolute favorite books, and it won one of my Help Me Pick giveaways forever ago as one of the picks that everybody voted for so it's very very highly recommended and I've had it sitting there forever so I'm going to finally read it this month. I wanted to put something short and fast in there and this is extremely cute looking and my friend Bailey got this for me for my birthday forever ago and I want to read it finally so Bad Taste in Boys by Carrie Harris and I love that cover. I love the lips. So I'm going to try to squeeze that in this month. Um, I think that's all my own books, maybe. Oh, no. I'm going to read Shift again by Jerry Smith Ready so that I can read Shine by Jerry Smith Ready. So those two are on my pile. I have an Amazon Vine book I got forever ago that I still haven't read. Liesl and Poe by Lauren Oliver. So I'm going to read that one finally. And then I only have a couple review books on my pile this month besides the two ebooks. Flirting in Italian 
by Lauren Henderson. This contemporary looks so cute. And if I'm not mistaken, it's a mystery as well, but it looks adorable. Plus, Italy. I was wondering about this up and set in Italy. I have Guilt by Catherine Longshore. Passion lies betrayal in the court of King Henry VIII. But nothing is free and love comes the highest price of all. Sounds really good. Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. I lent this to Candace before I ever read it and she said it was amazing. And if you've seen the final cover for this, it's beautiful. So I'm really excited for this one. And last but certainly not least, I technically don't have to read this yet, but I cannot wait. So it's definitely my pile for this month. Tiger Lily by Jody Lynn Anderson. This has been one of my most anticipated for months and months and months and months and months. So I cannot wait to read it. It is Peter Pan retelling, but from Tiger Lily's point of view, obviously. And yes, I am so excited to read this one. So it's on my pile as well. So that is all I've put on my pile. It's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 18 books. So that at least leaves me if I can finish all those. Hopefully I can get in some more as well, and that'll leave me some leeway just to pick out whatever I want on top of those and as mood strikes. And that's what I've got on my pile for this month. What do you guys plan to read? Link me up if you do a TBR post or video, because I want to come see them. And I hope you guys have an awesome month of reading, and go sign up for the May Page Count Contest if you haven't, because it really helps to motivate you. And see you guys next month. Bye!